Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I am here today with one of my favorite videos of the month, the Sheet Load Showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what all of my collaborators created using the February 2023 Sheet Load of Cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what my team of collaborators has created using the latest sheet load of cards. I know this is one of my favorite videos to make, and from your comments, I think it's one of your favorite videos to see. As always, you can check out their posts by either using the hashtag in the title, I do have a YouTube playlist in the description box, and I have a link to the Instagram team hashtag in the description box as well. I know that they always love for you to stop by, see what they've created, and leave them some love. I also know that you might not always have time to go see everyone, so this is a one-stop shop for you, and if you want more information on any of the cards, check out the links I just mentioned, or I do have their individual links a little bit further down in the description box. Now, if you're going to be showing us your sheet load and sharing what you make, don't forget to use those two hashtags at the top of the printable. I love to stop by and see what you're creating, and I've even seen some of my collaboration team members leaving comments as well. Now, if you're not online to use the hashtags, you can always send in a card for the end of the month video. I will have the show us your sheet load guidelines video linked, guess where, in that description box below. Before I get started with sharing a look at everyone's, I did just want to remind you that if you haven't yet downloaded the free printable or watch my video on how to make your first set, I have the debut and the process videos linked in the description box. And also this month so far, not only did I make the cards that I shared in the debut, but I also did another set using some new not too shabby papers where I used some alternative ideas. I moved the sentiment piece to the left, and on this one I even left it off just using an ephemera sentiment. I will have this video linked down there as well. Another thing that I want to mention quickly before we get to the team's cards is the upcoming Card Maker Success Summit. I do have a video with some basic information, but this is a free event where there will be over 25 instructors showing you tips and tricks for your card making needs. There will also be prizes, live videos, and some companies will be stopping by to share creations or demonstrations using their projects. Make sure to check out the video in the link below. I'll put it right at the top of the description box and you can get your free ticket. Now, if you're watching this after February 23rd, you can definitely still check it out, but you would need to get that VIP all access pass to see the classes. I know that I'm super excited to share my exclusive sheet load of cards that I've created for the event, and up on screen now is a little sneak peek at the cards I made. Let's go ahead and see what the team created. Up first is Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates channel here on YouTube, and she has created this set of elegant cards for the month using pretty pink, gray, and cream papers. Amalia of the Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia channel has used the February 2023 sheet load to create a set of birthday cards. I love all of the kind of fun modern patterns and how she has done some extra stamping on her sentiment piece. Ashley of the Mint Twist Cards YouTube channel used this month's printable to create a sheet load of hello cards, great for many different occasions. I love the red, white, and black papers. Barbara, who shares her creations over on Instagram as at one busy bee, created this set of pretty cards. I am loving the gingham and those floral hearts for her set of friendship cards. 
Beth of the Bourbon Creek Crafts YouTube channel showed us how this month's printable is great to use up some of those scraps. Not only does she have a wide variety now of all occasion cards, but she has less scraps in her scrap bin. Up next is Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen YouTube channel and she has created a set of gorgeous love cards. I love the florals and the vine papers and how she has added that extra circle to her sentiment piece and even a border on it. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea YouTube channel has created this cute set of owl cards. I love the soft look of the papers and the coloring. And side note, one of my nicknames, and it's from my brother, is Hoot. So I especially like these owls. Up next is Danny of Danny's Dreams. And you might have noticed that this month she moved over to our Instagram team. So if you don't already follow her over there, make sure to check out her updated link in the description box. I know she would love you to stop by. For her cards this month, she made a set of Happy Mail cards. I just love that little snail. Karen of the Karen Aiken YouTube channel used this month's sheet load for another set of gorgeous birthday cards. I love those greens and blues and those pretty gold leaves. Up next is Karen again, but this is Karen of Karen's Crafting Company here on YouTube. And she used this month's layout to create this set of pretty cards. I'm loving the florals and the polka dots and her cute little butterfly there on the sentiment piece. Lisa, who is at Scrapbook Girl over on Instagram, created this fun set of cards. I love the florals and the stripes for the papers and the cute little images holding those large flowers. Mariah, who is over on Instagram as at Fuzzy Slippers Designs, has created a set of cute baby cards this month. I'm loving the color palette and all of the fun elements for the focal points. Noemi, who is at AZ Crafty over on Instagram, created a set of Valentine's Day cards this month. I love how she has changed up her focal piece to be a partial heart and all of those cute little animals. Sandy, aka at Stamp with Sandy over on Instagram, created a sheet load of best wishes cards this month. Again, she has pretty florals, and I like how she has stamped the flowers onto that sentiment piece and played around a little bit with the layout of her pieces. And speaking of playing around with the pieces, up next is a look at Toby's cards, who shares here on the Biddy Penny channel. And she has used the cutting guides, but rearranged her pieces for a completely different look. Weren't those all so amazing? If you agree, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then go check out everybody's cards using those links in the description box. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.